I'm sure that you are aware that there's two types of layouts that you can use with Mighty Mini Site. The first one is the sidebar layout where you would have a sidebar to have some kind of information, something like you can put in um, an op inbox, you can put in product info, you can put in maybe about the author, you can also put in testimonials. And another uh, layout that you can use with my team mini site is the full wide layout where you don't have a sidebar and it's kind of like just the old traditional um, sales letter look. Well, uh, it's easy to toggle between these two designs, you don't really have, it's not really two different files. And I'm going to show you how to do that, how to uh, uh, change one design to another by uh, a simple CSS change. Okay, so first of all, let's open up the um, text editor. This is what I use, Komodo Edit, and then let's change this sidebar template. And let's change this from a sidebar layout to a uh, full white layout. It's really easy to do. All that you have to do is just add a little class here and put in the value of full. When you save that, now let's go back to the template sidebar. That's what we edited just now. Okay, click on that and you will see. Hold on, let's refresh that. Now we have a uh, full white layout, even though this is the template side by example. Now I'm going to change that back. You can simply just remove this class full and save. And then go back to the browser, refresh. And now we have the sidebar back again. That is how easy it is. Now I'm going to show you how to do that with the PHP system. More about this PHP shield system and how it works will also be uh, demonstrated after this. But generally, when it comes to the sidebar, this is how you do it. Okay, that's our text editor. Uh, we have here the demo file. Let's click and drag that to the text editor. Okay. And as you can see, we have a few variables here that controls more, more or less what we want to do with our mini site. Okay, let's go back and let's take a look at the demo. By default, it is a full wide layout. Now, back to the text editor. <coughs> there are a few variables here, and one that you need to change here is this sidebar, whether you want it or not. When it's no, it will become the full wide layout. When it's yes, it will become the layout with the sidebar. Okay, I just saved that. So back to the browser and refresh. And now we have a layout with the sidebar.